Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you an awesome rig to make for Snapper. It's a dropper style rig using only two different knots, figure of eight loop knot and the dropper knot. Stay tuned. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you all the steps and tackle you need to make this rig. You're going to want a four ounce sinker like that one. Two size five circle hooks, I'm using Gamakatsu. Swivel. Now this is not necessary, but I use it anyway. It's um, two small bits of Jinkai Limo tube. It just makes the bay a bit more obvious to the fish when it's um, nighttime. Give you a little bit of an advantage. And I've got about two meters of this cheap line. I'm only using that because it's easy to see on the camera. I would normally be using 60 pound black magic. Alright, now I'll show you at the end of the line how to do the first knot you'll need, which is a figure of eight loop knot. Okay, so do the figure of eight loop knot, you want to pinch a line there, grab there, now you want to do an overhand knot, bring it under. Now you want to do another overhand knot, so back over and then under. Yeah. Now you're going to want to work this knot up to the desired length you want it, which is about here, and pull it shut. So you've got that right there, done. Okay, now that you've done your figure of eight, you can just whack the weight on. like that. There. Now, from the weight you want about 50 centimeters of line between the weight and your first dropper loop. So we're going to create it right here. Now I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so 50 centimeters from your sinker, you're going to want to do your first dropper loop. So first you just cross your line over like that, so it makes a loop, so like that, and now you thread your line through there, just twisting around the loop. Probably twist it about five times for this thickness of line. The lighter the line, the more times you have to twist it, of course. So once you're at this stage, you've twisted a whole bunch of times like that, you're going to want to find the middle, which is about here. So just grab there, pinch it, open it up, making a little opening. Now this part of the loop needs to go back through that opening. So you've got that. It should look something like this. Start to work it up, just like that. Now once it gets to this stage, you're going to have to pull on the main line. So you grab it like that, and you pull, and done. Easy not to learn. It's really handy. Okay, now that I've done that, pinch the end of this loop. So it's easy to thread the tubing through. Put that on, like that. Now you get your first hook. You thread him on, just like that. And you bring that loop over the hook. And you put it shut, just like that. So there's the first drop a knot you've done. Now I'm just going to quickly go through doing the next one. Because you already know how to do it. Alright.
Okay, there's the second one done. Now, you're gonna want, you can either do another figure of eight knot, and then connect that to your um, swivel, or you could just do a um, standard blood knot, but I'm just gonna do another figure of eight. centimeters between each hook I've done. You can really do whatever you want. So all in all two dropper knots and two figure of eight loop knots. And that's it. Awesome. You can use this for snapper, any sort of boat fishing, but um, you can cast this a mile as well because you got the weight at the end. Yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>